So today we're taking a look at a wireless HDMI transmitter or HDMI extender. And how this works is you have your receiver, you have your transmitter, you plug your device, whether it's a laptop, your fire stick, your computer into the transmitter, plug the receiver into your monitor or television, and then you can essentially broadcast the signal wirelessly to your device. So this can come in handy for a number of different reasons. The biggest one is that I get to cut or get rid of that HDMI cord that always seems to get in the way. So today we're taking a look at a 330 foot wireless HDMI extender. This is from Kenkao, um, no affiliation. This is not a sponsored review. Just saw it on Amazon. It was one of the cheapest ones available. So I figured I'll go ahead and give it a test. So this video, we're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna test it out. Then we're gonna put it through its paces, see what we should expect or not expect from this device. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. Before we get out of the box, let's go over some of the main specifications and features. Now this is a full HD extension. So this transmits 1080p up to 330 feet. Now the ideal environment for this is an open room, but we know that most people want to use this in different rooms. So we're going to test it out, see how it performs when it has to go through walls, has to go downstairs and so on and so forth. As far as the Kodak, it does adapt H265 and it ensures that the latency is going to be less than 120 mil seconds the video output is 1080p at 60 hertz and it does support a bunch of audio formats including lpcm hdcp as well as dvi 1.0 now very cool about this is it does come with a ir receiver and blaster so they can essentially use this to control your device your hdmi device with the original remote so that's a pretty cool addition as well as far as the box itself, you can see the box is pretty simple. Just a plain cardboard box it looks like. So inside the box, we get one transmitter, one receiver, two power adapters. We get four antennas for the transmitter and receiver, one IR emitter, one IR receiver, user manual, as well as a one year manufacturer's warranty. Now, as far as the actual ports on the device, on the front, you're gonna have the power indicator, your link indicator, as well as your HDMI input or output and your DC plugin. On the rear, you're gonna have the antenna screw points and you're also gonna have a pair button, IR in or out, as well as a micro USB service port. The setup is pretty straightforward. You'll need to plug in your power to both devices. Then you'll need to separate the transmitter from the receiver. So the transmitter is gonna be where you plug in your, your source. So if you have a fire stick, you have a laptop or a DVD player, this is where you'll plug in your HDMI. The receiver is gonna go to your monitor or television. And all you need to do there is plug in your HDMI. And if you plan on using the IR feature, go ahead and plug in the IR cords into the respective ports. So in this case, I will be testing my fire stick so I get that powered up. So one more step that you need to to do on the initial setup is to pair both devices just to have them talk to each other so to do that again is pretty easy guys there are two pair buttons on the back of both devices all you need to do is press them for three seconds it will flash green they will flash a couple times and that's how you know they're talking to each other so everything's all set up let's go ahead and test it on the table then we'll bring it downstairs and bring it around the house to see how it performs so the first test i did was a baseline just to see how this performed under optimal condition. Now, one thing I wanted to note is that in the description on Amazon, they did mention that you did not want to use this close to a Wi-Fi router because it will interrupt the signal. I do find that kind of confusing or troubling because in most households, you're gonna have Wi-Fi router uh, within range or close to this device. So not sure how far away it needs to be, but in my office, I have a router and it seems to work fine. So testing on the bench, it works pretty well as it should. Uh, the audio was synced with with what's going on in the video the video quality was really good i didn't experience any dropouts any latency issues as you can see when i move or click on the buttons on the on the actual remote it actually responded fairly quickly and overall just a good experience when this device is either in the room or in close proximity 
Uh, next, we're gonna go two rooms over it. And at this point, it's going through two walls and about 20 feet away. Now with this operating at this distance, really didn't see a lot of issues. I did see it disconnect once, uh, then it came back online, but I didn't have any issues after that. Now we're bringing it downstairs and this is gonna be directly below my office. Keep in mind that this is going through the crawl space. So you have about a two foot gap where you have carpet, you have wood, plywood, you have drywall for the ceilings. So it's not going too far, but it is penetrating through a couple layers. Now with this, I did get some signal, then other times I see the signal drop in and out. So that's something to definitely keep in mind if you're planning to use this on a different floor. The last one and probably the most extreme test I did was I brought it to the opposite side of the house from my office and then downstairs. So not only is it going through the crawl space, but it's also going through five or six walls to get to the destination in the kitchen. Now, no surprise there, a lot of issues, a lot of dropouts, it was basically unusable. So uh, if you guys are planning to use it for long distance, especially in your house, going through walls, probably not an ideal device. Now my final thoughts on this is that this is pretty cool. If you wanna use it maybe within an office space or maybe one room over, uh, this will work just fine. However, if you're going on the opposite side of the house, downstairs, don't even bother, you will run into issues, which makes this almost unusable. Now, they did say that this cannot be next to Wi-Fi signal. So like I said, most households gonna have that. So I didn't bother going through just disconnecting my entire network because that's not how I'm gonna use it normally. So drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.